Malaria and West Nile. We've all heard about these viruses carried by mosquitoes. Now another virus is sweeping across the country, one bite at a time. But we're learning its victims may help patients who suffer from the pain of arthritis. From Africa to Asia, Europe, the Caribbean, and across the United States, a virus is spreading. Chikungunya is passed from mosquito to person, infecting more than a million and a half people. I woke up with fever, joint pain, rash, swelling, um, nausea, didn't want to eat anything. It's been a year since Sarah Goymeric went on a mission trip to Haiti. I'm still having um, some stiffness in my hands and feet. Aches and pains similar to rheumatoid arthritis can last for years. I've even spoken to some patients who said they couldn't walk because their joint pain was so severe. Washington University rheumatologist Jonathan Miner is studying why this happens. Chikungunya is a virus that causes inflammatory arthritis, so it invades the joints and causes severe joint swelling and pain. He compared the white blood cells in chikungunya patients to those in patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Now, this is a new technology. There are about 60 in the world. Even though one is a virus and the other is not, there are several similarities, including morning stiffness that mostly affects the joints in the hands, wrists, feet, and ankles. The difference, rheumatoid arthritis is treatable but it doesn't go away like chikungunya does. Studying chikungunya arthritis can give us insight into the immunological mechanisms that drive joint inflammation. And maybe someday turn off the pain and inflammation millions of arthritis sufferers live with every day. Washington University has created a C-Registry. Any patient who has suffered from it can contact them and take part in future studies.